So there was always going to be casualties on Tommy's side going up against the Serbs and I did call two out of the three deaths with Elijah and Mai. But Simon was someone who was killed from Vic Flynn's side but this didn't stop him from getting shit done. But Tommy's got a problem because Diamond warned him that you get one chance at cutting Murkovich's head off and you can't miss. So I really don't think it's going to be easy to get rid of him. But another person who's not easy to get rid of is Liliana and she definitely proved her loyalty to Tommy and also showed why she values her so much and she is definitely becoming a fan favourite. But the same can't be said about Jannard because after Elijah was killed, he was definitely gunning for Tommy. But fortunately for him, nobody knows it was Jannard. But Jannard is definitely a problem and Elijah's death is only going to make him more reckless and drive a wedge between him and his brother. But we're going to get into everything episode 5 with Claudia killing Mai, Walter Flynn, Vic, Gloria and JP Gibbs because he just loves digging up the past. But let's kick things off with where this episode started and that was with Tommy looking into the flames with killing Tatiana, Diamond warning him that he has one swing at Merkovic, Tommy's relationship with Liliana and Walter Flynn warning him not to drag Vic down into his world, all of which is what we saw play out in episode 5. But not only is he getting involved in Vic's world, he's now getting into a partnership with Claudia after she gave Tommy a taste of this new drug that she has Dahlia cooking and Tommy wanted in because this was something he never had before, a new high and he had Liliana try and break this product down but even she couldn't figure out how this was chemically made. But this is one of many reasons why Tommy likes having Liliana on his side. She is multi-talented and although they're not quite partners, he sees the value Liliana brings and interestingly she's the only part of Tommy's past life in New York, in Chicago and someone who Ghost kept alive so we're watching him protect her just like Ghost did, telling her to stay low and not leave his place. But sticking with the Serb story we finally get introduced to Merkovic with a killer entrance, someone who doesn't take shit even from his own people and we all knew it wouldn't be as easy to kill Merkovic because Milan and Jason Mitchich they were the same but the Serbs had numbers and they never rolled together because they rolled in packs of 6 so if they go down or get caught only a few of them go down and notice how Liliana when she was cutting the product she was using this card and it is just a reminder that the Serb that they killed in episode 4 has a twin so that's just something to watch. But this is why Tommy needed not just Diamond on board but Jannard and everybody else because he needed numbers and he knew that he couldn't do it without him and Vic Flynn and again we saw Vic doing what was needed to be done, cutting his share down and letting Diamond have the 1% extra in their business for the sake of their partnership but that 1% would definitely add up in the long run. So where we saw Jannard earlier on telling us that he was hurt by Diamond moving with Tommy because he didn't put in 15 years in the CBI, learning the game, evolving and holding things down to then eventually being casted aside and disrespected. We actually saw Diamond talking to Jannard on the same level and bringing him in on the plan and telling him that it's not about Tommy or Vic, it was always about the CBI and getting what was theirs and that was a seat at the table not just being on the streets shouting for them and Jannard's a numbers man and he knew what that extra 1% gives them, it gives them money and then power and then also comes respect but this is something that needs to be earned. So Jannard was down and then we saw Vic Flynn doing the same when it came to Simon. So now Tommy assembled his team with Diamond, Vic Flynn, Jannard, Simon, Elijah and the rest of the CBI but before we get to them attacking the Serbs, Tommy was also making an interception with Mai's product after he struck a deal with Claude Flynn on a 60-40 in Tommy's favour and that's because the conversation that Claude had with Mai, she knew that she had to cut Mai out of the deal and get control over her product and start working with Tommy because he was the one who was able to move it and once she did that, there was no need for Mai. So because she had her barrels and Dahlia and once Mai said she picked the wrong Flynn to work with, she flipped a switch and we saw Claudia stabbing her with the same ice pick she was using earlier on in the episode and then we saw how this affected Claudia as well. But on the other side of this deal, as I mentioned earlier on in the week, we're watching Tommy building his organisation and this is Bobito Dominguez and Tommy was impressed with the way he handled himself so he can welcome himself to Tommy's team. But let's talk about Vic and Gloria and we saw Vic living up to his promise, buying some land where they were going to build their dream house and build a future together. But of course, it was never as simple as this, especially when you've got a father who's as traditional as Walter Flynn and no matter how much Uncle Paulie tried to make him see sense that he still got a chance with his kids on a business and when it comes to their love life, Walter Flynn was never going to change his ways. So we saw him offering Gloria a deal and things with Vic Flynn for good and her debt with the Flynn family is paid which of course didn't go down well with Vic and he warned Walter Flynn don't be so sure that he'd choose him if he made him choose between him and Gloria. So with this internal conflict brewing between the family, Claude thought she'd step in and try and get shit done herself. 
Even though she said she likes Gloria in episode 2, she did try and sweeten the deal with a land worth 2.5 million, something which Gloria is definitely considering. But she also showed us she's someone who's not scared of the Flins, so I really wouldn't be surprised to see her ripping this up either. But just before she asked Claudia to leave, she also told her how her father is sick, something which she didn't know because it was a secret between Vic and his father. And this can't go overlooked because Uncle Paulie did say there's a battle for the crown between their kids. So this may just make Claudia step things up. But love, business, a battle for the crown and Walter's illness is just a few of the issues. But to add to this, law enforcement seem like they're going to target Uncle Paulie as their way into the Flynn organization. So again, just another plot to keep an eye on. But let's get back to Liliana, Tommy and the Serbs. And Tommy warned Liliana not to take this product. But of course she did. And then she left Tommy's place and straight into Merkovich's hands, who is after Tommy. But as I mentioned in a previous video, Liliana may be small, but she's mighty and she showed it again. Not only did she have her finger snapped, she used it to put a middle finger up right in front of Merkovich's face. And she stayed loyal to Tommy, just like she said she would. She's loyal to the game because this is all she's ever known. And she definitely lives by the street and dies by the street. So while Liliana was holding it down with Merkovich, we saw Tommy, Vic, Simon and Diamond and Janard taking out the first batch of Serbs, which ended up in Simon's death. But why we have to respect Vic is, he continued doing what he had to do, continuing the mission and even saving one of the CBI guys. And he is someone who I think has changed a lot of opinions compared to the very first episode of Power Book 4 Force. But this was a huge game changing moment and that was Elijah's death because although Janard was down with this plan, he just lost one of his most loyal soldiers that had been by his side for years. And I'm going to come back to this in just a moment. Because the look that he gave to Tommy in this scene, you knew he blamed Tommy for Elijah's death. But after they were done here, Diamond and Vic said they did what they signed up to do. And Liliana was on him. So we saw Tommy racing to save her. As well as watching Janard watching Diamond with a gun in hand. And it's just a matter of what his next move was. Because Elijah's death definitely hurt him. And as we all know, he's a hothead who tends to make emotional based decisions. And just look at the difference between him and Vic Flynn, because they were two who lost people in today's episode. But Vic showed maturity, whereas Janard definitely didn't. So as Tommy got to Liliana in time, he told Merkovich that in his world, he stands by his people. And he told him that maybe he should take him, not her. But this is where we saw Janard rolling up and firing, and definitely trying to kill Tommy because of Elijah's death. But catching Liliana with one which went straight through her, and she really is like a cat with nine lives. Go saved her. Now Tommy saved her. She also survived two Serbian kidnappings and also a bullet through the shoulder. So it is safe to say that I do think she is someone who's going to be a mainstay on Power Book 4 Force by Tommy's side. But something definitely needs to be done about Janard. He's acting too wild and crazy. And Elijah being killed is only going to make him come for Tommy again. And also go for Diamond's position as the head of the CBI. But he really doesn't know who he's fucking with with Tommy. Because Tommy really would cancel Christmas for Janard. But if and when Tommy and Diamond find out, Diamond has a decision to make. Because even he hesitated earlier on in the episode when Tommy said that he needed to bring Janard on board. Because he knows that his brother is hot headed. And he wasn't down with Tommy in the first place. So this is just going to make the conflict between the two brothers even worse. But elsewhere in the episode we saw JP digging up some more memories and the past. And again looking at photos of him and Tommy. And he may have found something that raises questions. But he's also on this Kay Egan thing again. And at this point I really do think it's only a matter of time before he tries to make contact. Or we see Kay Egan on Power Book 4 Force. So next week's interaction between JP and Tommy will definitely be interesting. But we also get some more backstory to Officer Bennigan and his history with the CBI. Because back in 2006, Diamond had a bad batch of product put on the streets, which killed 5 people. And Kiki Watkins is probably his sister that was mentioned by Vic Flynn in episode 4. And it does seem like his sister took the product, but her life has never been the same since. And she definitely blames Diamond and the CBI. But Diamond put this back on Officer Bennigan, threatening to reveal how he's accepting money from Vic Flynn, which puts an end to their conversation. But it's definitely not over between them. So this is just another plot and storyline that I'm sure they will revisit at some point. And that was episode 5. And arguably the biggest talking points are of course, Elijah being killed which led to Janard trying to take out Tommy, Claude dropping Mai and Liliana holding it down. So drop all your thoughts down below and let me know your thoughts of episode 5. Especially the contrasting reactions from Vic Flynn reacting to Simon's death and Janard reacting to Elijah's death. Drop all your thoughts down below and I will be back with my recap part 2 later on this evening as usual. So of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.